Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at Quizalize, which is a great tool for creating interactive games that you can play with your students in class. So let's go ahead and get started here. You can see I'm signed into my account. And let's go ahead and create a new quiz. I'll just give this one the title. And we'll see here we can pick from a huge variety of topics or we can set our own. I'll just say some random things. Now let's go ahead and create a question. Now one of the neat things about Quizalize is you'll notice over here we have an option called Math Mode. And what Math Mode allows you to do is enter equations into your questions and into answers. I'm not going to use that here. I'm simply going to ask a fun question. What is the tallest mountain in the world? And we'll put in our correct answer. And then we'll put in some incorrect options. Now we can put in some explanations if you want to. You can also put in a subtopic if you want to put in a subtopic, uh, which will let you group your questions later. Now we can set a duration for length of time that students can respond. Let's say 20 seconds. Now let's go ahead and add a new question. And this question will be a picture-based question. Let's say, what is this dog's name? Let's select Use Images. Now let's upload a picture. And we'll put in a picture. Now let's put in some answer choices. Now let's save it. So we've saved our quiz. Let's hit Finish. Now let's go ahead and give this quiz to our class. Okay. So this is going to be for Max's class. You can also go in and create another class. You can have multiple classes within your Quizalize account as a teacher. So we're going to say continue. And on this next screen here, we'll see the admin page and we're going to direct our students to quiz.al and they're going to enter this class code up here and that's how they're going to play the game. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like from a student perspective. So the quiz.al And we'll see here, a student can put in their name, put in our class code. Our class code is XXY858, or XXW858. And we'll sign them in. As we can see here, Richard now has two quizzes that he can take, and he's going to take random quiz, random things too, and play. And you'll see here these answer choices were randomly distributed, so it wasn't necessarily the first answer being the correct one listed first. What's this dog's name? And we'll see the answer is correct. Okay. And now they can see how they did in the game. We go home. And a student can play the other quiz, can play multiple quizzes, and they can refresh this and check for new quizzes. And of course, they can also see their statistics on the quiz themselves.
Now back here as the teacher, I'm going to return to my home page. And let's look at sample two. And I can go in and I can edit my quiz questions I want to. Let's go back to my classes now. And you can see my class code. Let's take a look at my dashboard. And here in my dashboard, I can see that Richard has done sample quiz two. And he got two out of two points correct, or two out of two questions correct, and the point value. You can also go by percentage or correct on each one of those quizzes. And of course, if I want to print it out, I can print it out. And finally here, I can say, let's unassign a sample quiz. And we'll use just sample two so the kids don't get confused. Uh, if you're trying to do this in real time with your kids and you don't want to uh, have them get confused on which quiz they should be doing, you can unassign one of those quizzes. So that's a quick overview of Quizlize. It's a nice way to create uh, online interactive games that your students can play in real time or at their leisure. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetech4teachers.com.